Hey, welcome back to Fiscal Forge. My name is Felix. In today's video, we're going to talk about a stock that I recently purchased on Friday on the 23rd of August. And, and this is a stock that I purchased before in this uh, uh, YouTube channel. So make sure to uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, I go over the stocks that I uh, buy and sell and other ideas uh, in this uh, YouTube channel. So the stock that I purchased is uh, Sunco products, S O N, the ticker symbol. I bought 26 shares. I own, or already own shares. This was only uh, cost averaging down into the uh, stock. I bought a thousand, almost thousand four hundred dollars worth of shares at 26 shares at fifty three dollars and fifty four cents. So let's look at the fast graph and see why I, I, I still like this stock. You can see here in 2024 this year they are expecting to. Uh, expected to earn five dollars and eight cents which is a three percent decrease uh from 526 and from 2023 but we invest in the future right and so obviously they're they're expected to decrease but in 2025 and 2026 a nice 11 percent increase in 2025 and a nine percent increase in 2026 and if we go to forecasting here long term analysts are expecting about four percent growth in earnings you know for the next five six years and you can see here if it were to revert back to a normal or to a PE of 15, which is a fair value, we can have an annual rate of return of 15% on a high quality company. You can see it has a triple B credit rating. It has a great uh, earnings yield of 10%, which is great. Dividend yield almost 4% at 3.88. The blended PE of 9.9, .9, which is undervalued or undervalued based on historic. If you can see here on the, on the max chart here, the normal multiple is around 15.8, so 16 multiple. And you can see here, if it were to revert back to that, we could have a great uh, potential of earnings or uh, total return around 31% in the next few years. But I don't expect it to maybe hit around 15%, but I do expect it to have a um, PE of around 12 or so. So we show in this time period right here, uh, you can see here, this is the 15 uh, multiple. So 12 more likely around here, $80, $75. And we only have right now as $53 for the next few years. So I can definitely see that happening. And I show you that in the charts uh, section of this video. Um, next thing we want to look at is over here on Schwab. If we go to the, the stock here. And, we, and I'm going to show you uh, what Morningstar uh, thinks of it and what CFRA thinks of this stock here. Uh, let me refresh this page. It's not loading up. All right. So Morningstar gives it a three-star rating, which is fair. It's not, uh, they don't have it as a buy rating, just a fair hold. Um, and we're going to look at why. So they have a fair value of $53. So basically, uh, the stock is very at fair value right now at $53.48. So $53 is a little overvalued slightly slightly overvalued based on the Morningstar fair value price but one thing I, I like to see uh, using Morningstar is future expectations so if we go over here scroll down a little bit here on this uh, report so here uh, forecast summary here you can see here revenue expected to increase so it from 2023 a little slight increase about 0.7 percent uh, where in 2025 Revenue is supposed to increase around 42%, which is really, really good. And 3% or 4% in 2026. So I like to see that revenue continue to expect, expect it to increase. Uh, price to sell is low. You can see here 0 0.8. Uh, and based on today's price, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So that means it's undervalued uh, based on today's price with the future forecast. Uh, net margin is expected to increase in 2026. So that's good. But it's nice steady around 7% to 8%. And the dividend also expected to increase. So that's all the things that I like to see here. And price to book here, the lower this number, the better. So you can see here, based on the estimates, future estimates, the current price price to book is low. So I like to see that a lot. Same thing with uh, EV over EBITDA. Uh, it gets lower as time because earnings are expected to be higher and revenue is expected to be higher. So that's from Morningstar. Now, if we look at CR CFRA, it gives it a four star rating which is a buy rating and right here you can see four star buy rating the current price and the price target of 58 dollars another thing i like here earnings projected to grow at five percent for the next few years um you can see here revenue is expected to increase 
earnings expected to increase so all looks good there they have a fair value price around 56 dollars so it is on the value based on cfra uh analysts uh price to sell here more or less in line with the morning star so those are the things that i like uh to see here now if we go to the chart for sonical you can see here what i like the most here is the three month moving average this is the 50 moving average and you can see here the stock bounce here bounce here it bounced here a little bit and then COVID hit uh or not COVID, the 2008 2009 crash uh bounce here then bounce here this was COVID here so this is the 2008 2009 crash it took it over again in 2011 and right again here in 2013 but you can see here how it respects this moving average uh not exactly but in that area right so it's kind of like what's happening right now around that area the 50 dollar area is what's happening and we're getting a bounce so i expect this to bounce and we're actually if you are a technical analyst you can see here this is kind of like a a, a bear flag not a bear flag a bull flag forming you can see here bull flag from here to here right here like that let me draw the line for you here right there and kind of right there is a bull flag forming to take this stock higher so this is why i bought shares around this 50 dollar area we're in the moving average you know and now with the fed going to uh start decreasing interest rate this should drive stocks up like this uh so i expect this to go higher we have the moving average here we have a uh, bull flag forming we have fed interest decreasing soon which would in my opinion would drive this stock higher uh so that's why i like and bought more shares of this stock and i would like to add more shares to get around 200 shares i think i have like 150 shares right now uh and you can see here on the monthly chart uh we had last month it was a nice green bar and then again sellers was trying to take control but eventually buyers stepped up and took it higher so this is why i like and bought shares of this stock uh so overall and we go back to the fast graph you can see here we can have a nice total return a nice safe dividend and we go speaking about the dividend let's look at uh the growth the only thing that's the one thing i don't like their dividend growth is not too high you know three four percent the most recent one in 2023 was 5.2 percent which is really good but the payout ratio is very low around 38 percent so they could increase it uh higher so i kind of expect that once earnings starts to grow uh like that like i mentioned the next year or two i expect uh the dividend also to grow around five or six percent but they are not that double digit dividend growth but it's a consistent dividend growth company uh you can see here the payout ratio is only 40 percent so they have great payout ratio i think operating cash flow covers the dividend as well operating cash flow is expected to be very high and free cash flow uh also covers the dividends you can see here so this is why i like this company and why I bought shares of this company. Uh, what have you guys been buying last week or what you plan to buy this week? Please let me know in the comics. I, I really like to uh, see what you guys are buying and so that maybe I'm not, I'm not seeing something or missing something, some stocks that I should be interested in as well. So let me know in the comments what you think of the video and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.